Hey, Scott here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to replace the PCB board on the Hayward Aqua Plus controller. If you're getting errors related to cell 2 missing, the only fix is to replace this board. Um, if you search around the old internet, you'll find uh, multiple listings, quite a price variance. So um, do a little homework, save yourself some money. But here we go. First step is going to be getting all the current settings because um, that resides on the board we are replacing so we need to get those written down before we take it off then we will kill the power at the main fuse box coming to this panel and then we get to work on swapping it out so here we go so to make sure I had everything written down I went through the timer settings for the filter and lights um, also the config settings the pool and spa settings the filter settings for the pump speeds as well as the lights and the auxiliary functions. I turned off the main breaker. If you're not familiar where yours is at, it's probably in the main panel into your house. Then I remove the cord to the chlorinator cell, and then there's three screws that have a hex head that you remove to get the panel off. Next, I pulled off the display. It has four little plastic connectors and disconnected the cable for that and set it aside for later. I thought it'd be a good idea to take some close-up pictures of the different wiring in case I had questions once I had pulled it apart. I started by pulling off the green terminal block. We'll put this on the new board. There is a little RJ connector that goes to the remote sensor that unplugs and then a little black terminal block that makes some more connections. Once those are loose, there are two silver hex screws at the bottom of that panel that you'll pull out. Then the board slides up and off the little holders. At this point, I let it dangle so that I could keep the wiring straight. And then we'll slide the new panel in place and put those two silver screws back in. You can then connect back the little black terminal block, the gray RJ cord, and then the green terminal block. Now I moved on to the power connections. There are two red, two black, and two orange wires. So I just did each of those one at a time. And then to the transformer, there's two yellow, a blue, violet, gray, and white. So just do one at a time and don't lose track of where they go. Once the wiring's done, there's four little feet that hold the display 
using needle nose pliers they pop off really easily and then put those on the new board then plug the display in and seat it back on those little pegs if you feel good about all the connections now you can go turn the power back on and start putting all the settings back in if it's powered up. Once I have the settings in, I replace the panel cover and put the three screws. You might have to dress the wires in a little bit to get this fit back in place. Then plug back in the cell wiring. I made sure the filter was setting was off before I turned the breaker on and then powered on the pump to see if everything was working. You can see it wasn't that difficult of a process. Um, they come with steps, follow that pretty clearly. You'll notice one thing it says is to remove all the wires. I dropped the board down first with the wires connected so I could make sure I trace back to the right spot. But it appears to be working fine. It's not throwing out errors. Looking at the old board, these capacitors look a little like they're bulging. That's usually a bad sign from past experience. Um, also a nice dark, burn looking spot on here so um, could be related to that capacitor as well but uh, hope you found this video helpful if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe hit the bell for new video notifications like comment and share there's also a link below to any tools or products used during this video